and I was going to dig into it. And I kind of felt something bad was going to happen to Young Sloby. But someone that I was talking to told me that I was going to jinx his ass. So, hey, I fell back. Not to mention that my Instagram went poof the same day. So I took that as a sign, and I just left that shit alone. So this situation is not the same as the others. When I say I see it coming, like I knew it. This was different. I know I'm not the only one who felt that something was going to happen to Young Sloby, guys. What the fuck? But his death is not what everyone is speculating. I'm looking at all these damn blogs, and they are way the fuck off. Fuck. But that's why I'm here. Put it on the set, niggas not cutting up. If you ain't want your homie shot, then why you mention us? And then the North nigga die, y'all better toughen up. I'm off a of park, a little north, I'm kinda high as fuck. But back to this one night. Of Chalk ain't finna yell, see you crib bang in the north. Slow be from San Diego, Maple in 44th. Slow be from San Diego, Maple in 44th. Now, I understand that Young Slobie's last song that he released was dissing a North member in the North period. And when he passed, Hetty Baby clout chased and posted what he posted on the net as far as that photo and that video. So, Hetty Baby, you can take that clout chasing ass, corny ass shit somewhere else trying to confuse the fans. Knowing damn well, they gonna go snooping. We all know what the fuck you be on. <laughs> as far as MBM or whatever the fuck, Nelly, Millie, whatever the hell his name is, as far as that situation, it may have seemed like he had something to do with that shit, or should I say, allegedly, his camp, since he dissed the fuck out of the whole EBK, and since they are Crips, and the Nightingale members, the EBK, mostly are Bloods. But I'm here to say that, once again, they and slash he had nothing to do with Slobby getting killed. Now, let me explain. Guys, how I look at stuff, when it drops, or just period, it may be a little bit different. I question the fuck out of stuff, and when that tour, like I said, when it dropped, it raised my antennas. And then, a couple days after, he drops this shit. All my life, I've been a fuck up. I already know I'm going to hell. Shut the fuck up. I already know I'm going to hell. Shut the fuck up. I, I got my weapon through. What if I die tonight, man, man, and die in jail? What are you too? Now, like I said, that was alarming at the time, guys. And I'm not saying that I seen it coming. I just felt like, what the fuck was he going through? Because the type of stuff that he was dropping in the lyrics behind his songs. And, like I said, he did not get backdoored. In my opinion, he basically got frontdoored, guys. He was killed at his baby mom's apartment at 8 a.m. And he was caught lacking. Someone was waiting on him. Now, I understand he was trying to be low-key. But, fuck! Manteca is about 15 minutes away from Stockton. But, hey, it's about 10 minutes from his hood. Because he's in south. Southeast to be exact. And if you head further south, it's about 10 minutes to Manteca. So guys, he basically got killed in Stockton, in my eyes. Fuck. And guys, what the street are saying, whoever turned Slobby into a pack was from his hood, Nightingale to be exact. And no, the streets are saying he is not a rapper. He is just some Nightingale coon who was in love with Slobby's baby mom. So allegedly, it was just a little love triangle that was going on. And Someone was sending someone else nudes, and I guess some words were exchanged, and you know how that shit goes. It was a coonified argument. One person said, you won't do this, and the other motherfucker said, I will. And the coon that killed Slobby was basically waiting for him to pull up to his baby mom's house. That's why he got killed at that weird-ass time. 8 a.m. Everyone knows who did that shit. Now, I don't know if the police knows, but everyone from Nightingale, all the associates, know definitely who did that shit. And is he in jail? No. Do I think he's going to jail? Fuck yeah. Know why? Because we got Mr. DC Baby Detective over here snitching his ass off. Talking about a goddamn black Benz. And whoever did that shit better hope. God damn it. Better hope that motherfucker wasn't in a black Benz because your ass is fucked. Motherfucker posted the fake ass footage in some other fucking clickbait ass videos trying to juice the situation. And then the one video he does post that's valid, he murders it. God fucking damn it. With some snitching ass title. And then, he got that lady in there snitching also. Like, he really wants to get this motherfucker in jail. Fuck! Now, some, or most, may disagree what I'm about to say. But, I am starting to think that jail is where you motherfuckers need to go and stay. 
for a while, goddammit, because fuck, if you guys noticed, a lot of these rappers, and even some of the coons, die right after coming home from jail. And don't get me wrong, I'm not mentioning jail as if these idiots need life, or a whole bunch of fucking time, life sentences, 10 years, 20, all that shit. What I am trying to say is that sometimes you motherfuckers need a break from these scrapes and all that goddamn stress and the scrap and all this fucking coonery. Why is it that you baboons don't use jail for what the fuck it is versus some hyperbolic time chamber? Imagine if you baboons go to jail and just sit back and breathe, goddammit, and think about a game plan and get out and execute, goddammit, fuck. But no, you motherfuckers go in there and throw up all kind of gang signs and all that Naruto bullshit and come out like y'all turned up. There's always warning before destruction. Uh, I started looking at this shit, homie, and said, man, maybe jail is the best thing for a lot of people. Maybe prison is a, is a, is a, is a proper place for a lot of young people because it's, it's become a good tool for God. I'm going to say a good place. I ain't going to say a good tool. It, it's, it's become a, a good place for God to preserve young black life. Very few niggas die in prison. They at least go to prison, do 15 years, come home, and live again. Uh, we, we're not burying old people. We ain't going to OG funerals. We ain't going to grandmama funerals. We watching young niggas die. Guys, if you look at the list of rappers slash popular Sacramento coons that got killed, guys, they weren't even out six months before they got killed. Look at Briss, look at Hot Boy Jew, look at Lil T.Y.S., look at Subtay, look at this whole fucking list of fucking young men that died shortly after being released from jail. And you may think that I'm being a little extreme here, but guys, remember that Lil T.Y.S. was out on bail. If he never bailed out, he would still be alive. Shooter Gang D-Ray bailed out and got killed. Young Sloby bailed out and got murdered, guys. And just really pay attention to the people that got released from jail or prison, and they just, you know, call themselves getting turned up in there, and, you know, they don't get out and focus on their priorities, and they get out and get killed, guys. Now, this ain't no shoulda, coulda, east woulda commercial, goddammit, but just sit back and think about all the rappers that died shortly after getting bailed out or just getting released from prison. If they would have used that shit like it was designed for, instead of a hyperbolic fucking time chamber, guys, most of these, or maybe all, most of these people will still be alive. Now, I know for a fact that I have a good following of people in prison. So if you guys are watching this shit, just look at the pattern of people that get killed after getting released. So I hope you guys are in there and taking notes, goddammit, because fuck, you can get turned into a pack. Ghazi from um, Empire? Fuck. Um, Sizzler? Whoever runs Sizzler? Fuck. Um, you two motherfuckers have, or maybe, because I'm not God, but y'all have a burning ass hot reserve VIP spot in hell. What the fuck? Now, that, of course, was a joke. But, in all seriousness, we're not going to ignore the fucking smorgasbord of r rappers slash artists that died on that fucking label. And Thizzler, I'm disappointed in you guys. I'm going to be honest. But I'll save that for the next video. Tune in to Patreon and tune in to my YouTube. And just tune in, guys. SGA, I'm out this mother...